So if it is true that the spirit of revelation is coming upon the body of Christ like never before, the spirit of revelation will only meet those who have taken a step of faith to open their Bibles. The step of faith to give God's word rapt attention and to make it a priority is your way of attracting the spirit of revelation. It will not come upon you in laziness, carelessness, and a passive Christian life. For some persons, after this time, you need to go and get all the teachings. These teachings are free. Koinonia Global, you have them. Not just my teachings here, teachings across from nation to nation and you can't put it. Don't say I was there. If you were sleeping, you were not there. If you were punching your phone, you were not there. You are only there when your spirit and your mind is there. Not when your body is there. I taught you here that someone can be looking at you like this. And yet the person is sleeping. Are you there? No. Or punching half of the salmon. I'm not saying you, but I'm speaking generally. There are people who come to church and it's as if the phone will be stolen from them. From beginning of salmon, this spirit of distraction, they are punching everything, chatting and smiling. No, be serious. Everything God gave man, he gave man control over. The moment it controls you, it is of the devil. Are we together? Enlightenment should find you. I'm giving you the responsibility component now before we pray. So if it is true that Christ is purifying his church, you must yield yourself. Lord, that new wine. Listen for what he will tell you. He can tell you, take a day of fasting and prayer. I want to speak to you. He can tell you, read a book. He can tell you, listen to this message five times. The purified church. Ah, God, but I was there. Listen to it again. And by the fourth and fifth time, you will hear something you did not hear before. Purification is happening. Are we together now? And then enlightenment, revelation. Open your Bible. Study scripture. Be serious. Don't let a day go by without you studying scripture. If you cannot read it, you can hear it. If you cannot hear it, you can speak it. You can listen to it on the go. Oh Lord, you are bringing unusual dimensions to the body of Christ. I need it as a man of God. I need it as an evangelist. I need that, that kingdom financing mantle. I need that grace for influence. There are many believers who desire several dimensions of this grace, but they are not positioned for it. And respectfully speaking, a dear man once asked me and said, Apostle, what is the secret of making the nations hear you and want you? And I told him, I said, there is a hear ye him anointing. And then he said, can I receive that grace? I told him, I said, I love you and I can pray for you. But even me, I know that nothing is going to come on you because the truth is that it doesn't just come by desire. There are preparations of the heart. Have you seen any doctor that sees somebody and on the road, he starts performing a surgery? Is that how it happens? There are preparations. Is that true? Yes, they test a lot of things. And there are times they test you and say, no, you are not ready for the surgery now. Go and do this, do this. That's how it is. There are people, the, you want to lay your hands, you know that it's only your hand that is coming on them. What used to back you did not follow you as that hand was resting on their head. Because there is the preparation of the heart. They only want the influence because of pride or just to show a competitive spirit. And God says, no, no. This is what I'm trying to take out of the body. But by all means, ladies and gentlemen, contend for the grace. Let this new wine not come and meet you wanting. Please. Please. Do you know why I'm saying this? Because I hate to say it, but it is going to happen. There will be a divide soon between those who are serious with God and those who are not. You are a minister of the gospel. I beseech you by the message of God to listen to me. So that you do not carry needless pain and sorrow and jealousy and anger in your heart. There are people who God will move congregations from their ministries to other places. I hate to say this, but I'm speaking prophetically. And the reason why that will happen is not because God hates them. It's because they have not repositioned themselves 
because of what God is doing now. God loves you, but he does not love you alone. He loves the whole world. So while loving you, he's considering the effect of your carelessness on another believer. And as much as he loves you, he will not let a nation perish because of one person. You want a new anointing? I've prayed this prayer too. He said, Lord, let this new grace come. I wonder what it will look like. We have seen it in types and shadows. But relative to what he is bringing, what we have seen and handled is child's play. Do you not want the grace to cure cancer to rest on the body of Christ? Talk to me. Do you know what that means? I know we all claim we are healing and we have the anointing, but the truth is we know our limits. There are real sick people who have not been healed. And these weightier levels of grace is what will cure it. Do you know what will happen if you really have a provable grace, not once in a while, not by luck, that there is a guarantee? Let's just use HIV and cancer, regardless what stage, that God has been able to trust you with that grace. Do you know how many people will be on their knees to say thank you? This is why I say, you see, when I talk like this, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, it is not usual for leaders to be open and vulnerable like this. Because for many people, leadership thrives on your sense of invincibility. When you give an, an approach that I am invincible. But the truth is that people want to see honesty, even on stage. You see, when you are true and honest, people can forbear. I'm not here to entertain or play games with you. You are intelligent people who love God. God has anointed us, so that one will not deny. But it will be pride to believe that we have attained heights beyond our proportion. Our results still show there are deficiencies. Are we together? This is why there is a corporate call to rise higher. For as long as there is one dead man who we could not bring back to life, for as long as there is one cancer patient we could not heal. For as long as there is one HIV patient. For as long as there is somebody holding a crush and wheelchair. Let's stop bragging. There is still more to do. Thank God for what we have seen. But there is so much more. You only say this if you mean business with God. That level of laziness cannot. Look, let me tell you. It takes stamina to stand on some dimensions. It's not just anointing generically. The anointing needs a vessel to rest on. I'm showing you the labor dimension. I, I've, I'm sorry I did not really get into my topic today. We have a session tomorrow. But this, there is a price for uncommon impact. Ask my people. Did you know that as close as I am to all these guys, the team that travels with me, I never really have time one-on-one -on -one with them? They also themselves, as close as they are, they look forward to times when I'm free. So that they can now ask their own questions. When we go inside there now, they may not see me again till tomorrow. Act like you have not achieved anything in life. Act like nobody has known you. Act like your name has not gone anywhere. Don't plateau at a level. No, sir. Champions don't stop. The only thing that stops them is death. Champions never arrive. Apostle Joshua Selman, you're a man of power. You're a man of miracles. To what degree? To what degree? If you pray for 100 barren women and 10 get healed, 10 over 100. What grade is that, students? Talk to me. So if you pride yourself and say, Oh, I'm a healer. Based on what? Listen, let me tell you, there are dimensions that kings will not come to you. You have to press. Kings don't come to your light. They come to the brightness of your rising. It's Gentiles that come to your light. There is no amount of tiredness that sustains the power to distract me. No. If I miss out on my prayer time, I have a system of discipline on myself to make it back.
Is it all right that I'm, I'm a bit open with you like this? Because many people, we, we like results. Behind results, there is a price you cannot imagine. You cannot imagine. Oh God, use me. Let me bless the nations. I agree. But my brothers and my sisters, you need to build stamina. The remnant of the house of Jacob will bear root downwards. And then will bear fruit upwards. We are going to have a few minutes to pray. Tomorrow I will touch on the topic that I came with. But hear me. <laughs> you are complaining already. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have to. <laughs> you want a vigil. We will not do it. No, 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 no. We have to be fair. I know you are motivated by what I am saying, but you have to sleep. Listen. My, my dear ones, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen, we are going to hear me. Hear me. We are going to pray. Tonight, I know that I just shared with you a few things to challenge you. Tonight is inspiration and motivation. Why? Because many of us are at points in our lives and our destinies where if you get it right now you have gotten it right forever there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to clamp down your growth we are trusting god for a generation in four square that will be so young men who are extremely anointed and successful not anointed and struggling that a day in the nearest future will come in four square here where it is we will be a gathering of kings you will see someone doing ushering you will think it's because he's not employed until you see the company he runs and when it's time to pray he's rolling on the ground that in itself is a sermon to someone who doesn't love god i vow to myself that i will never lead weak people it is dangerous to lead weak people my greatly revered mentor who had gone to be with the Lord, bless his soul, Dr. Miles Munro, he shared and he said, a true leader does not maintain followers. He turns followers to leaders and leaders to agents of change. Listen to me. Seated in this place right now are the prophets of the next season seated in this place right now are the apostles of the next season you have seen it in your dreams i'm not telling you what you don't know seated here are the next reinhard bonkers reinhard bonkers already on his way that belong to a generation but are you ready for it or will it pass you and look for someone else did you know bible students that the first person god called was not abraham abraham's destiny was his father's read your bible the person who was called was terror and he missed out on it and the mandate shifted to abraham who would later become abraham the father of nations no one will take my place in destiny no no shadow you will light up mountain you won't yeah. coming after me no wall you won't kick down Lie you won't tear down coming after me. No shadow you will light up, mountain you won't coming after me. Oh the Never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, He chases me down, leaving 99. I couldn't earn it, and I don't deserve it. Oh, the over. 
Can we spend five minutes to pray? I'm going to allow you, I will call and then give us a few prayer points. But in the next two minutes, I want to leave everybody in this campground with God alone. For the next two minutes, find a corner and cry, Lord, I will not fail destiny. There are men and women tied to my grace. Is there someone who can cry to God? Ah! Come on, four square. Cry to the God of heaven. Let me encounter destiny. No shadow you will light up. Coming after me. No mountain you will kick down. Coming after me. I will not fail destiny, oh God. You have called me to be a prophet to the nations. I may not look like it, but let tonight be like the threshing floor of Naboth. that must arise where are the Emmy Semple McPhessons Eli is calling Samuel where are you Pray, pray tonight. Lord, pour out your spirit. Is there someone praying? Oh no. The people of the earth. Ah. Let's your sons and daughters speak your words of prophecy send us dreams and visions reveal the secret of your heart Lord, our world is waiting. Let creation see the coming of your day. There's gonna be a great awakening. Hey, there's gonna be a great revival in our land. There's gonna be a great awakening And everyone who calls on Jesus They will be saved Cry to the Lord Pray I surrender all to you Everything I give to you I'm withholding nothing Withholding nothing Withholding nothing yeah. Withholding nothing 
Will you give your heart away? Yeah. Will you give your heart away so He can use you? Will you give your time away? Will you give your time away? And I I'm desperate for you. Few minutes that were done tonight. Hey. And I I'm lost without you. Lift up a cry. Lord, I will not fail destiny. There are generations tied to my grace. There are generations tied to my obedience. People will not go to hell because I fail. Creation awaits the manifestation of the sons of God. Ladies, pray. Gentlemen, pray. I may be the first for my family, but here I come. Here I come in the name of the Lord God of heaven. Please pray. Please pray. A few minutes and we're done. You're not wasting your time. You are negotiating with destiny. You are my strength when I am weak. You are the treasure that I see. You are my only God. I'm seeking you as the precious one. Not to keep up, I'll be a fool. You are my only Hallelujah. Now I want you to mention the five areas that I lifted and pray them into your life. Christ must be represented in this area. Spiritually fresh fire. Mentally I will be transformed enough to draw to my life the kind of kingdom influence that is desired to lift the name of Jesus. I live long and strong. This body is a gift from God to me. I will not destroy my body with drunkenness. Are you praying? I will not destroy my body with anything that can tear me down. Adultery, fornication, drunkenness. This body is a gift and the only host that can keep my spirit alive here. Pray from the depth of your heart. Yes, you are God and you reign forever and ever. You are the Lord of time. Yes, you are God and you reign forever. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please don't be tired. Bear with me. The Bible says, Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, it says, Let us lay aside. Is someone ready to pray? Father, whatever will make me lose in destiny, cut it away this night. Let there be a circumcision. If it's a wrong relationship, let it live my life. If it's an addiction, let it be broken by the grace of God. Someone serious with your destiny, cry. If it's anger, let it live my life. If it's laziness, it must live my destiny. I'm ready to get to the place of destiny. No price is too great. Hallelujah. 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 Hopefully my session, there's no time to minister to people now and pray for the sick. Tomorrow we'll leave that for the morning. Our minister prophesy over your life. We still have a session so that I'll allow you sleep. But there's just one last prayer. We'll pray to round this. Father, the kind of hunger that will attract the mantle for a generation. Listen to me, please. Not a mantle for a congregation. Not a mantle for a parish. Lord, the kind of hunger that will make you give me what you gave in her donkey. The kind of hunger that will make you give me what you gave the generals. Let that baptism happen to me now. If someone praying, lift your voice and cry. For everyone that asketh, receive it. Someone you are praying for a generational mantle. The kind of hunger, oh God, that money cannot satisfy. The kind of hunger that fame cannot satisfy. The kind of hunger that the achievement in life cannot satisfy. The kind of hunger that the applause. that even my results cannot satisfy someone is crying someone is crying to the God of heaven Lord I know I'm a prophet I have prophesied but I'm not satisfied greater hunger I'm an apostle but greater hunger I'm a first class student and I'm grateful for it but I cry for something greater oh God I'm already in ministry. I prayed for a woman the other day and she had a miracle but I'm not satisfied. Give me something for a generation, oh God. Please pray.
pray. Pray. Take away spiritual mediocrity. The hunger for a generation. Lord, they call me great, but I need a real mantle from heaven. I want to represent God to a generation, not just a church. Two minutes and we're done. Two minutes of a heartfelt cry. Four square, are you praying? God is touching men, looking for men in this end time. Lord, I thank you for my resource in ministry, but I'm tired of this level. Tired of this level. Thank you for my resource in business, but I'm tired of this level. As a campus fellowship president, as a prayer secretary, as a Bible study secretary, as a, as a zonal leader, thank you for where you are taking me, but I refuse to let you go tonight. You must place something upon my destiny that is generational. listen tomorrow tomorrow will be I will share with you a few things but tomorrow's meeting will be an impartation there has to be a transfer some of you what you saw in your dreams what you have your visions for many years it's time for something to come upon your life that a generation will know that the hand of God is upon you so while you go back to eat and to sleep don't be carried away and start gisting and talking as if you are not in the presence of God spiritualize your mind as you go eat just exchange pleasantries go to bed Wake up with a hunger tomorrow and write it that today is the day when this mantle for my destiny comes. Today is the day when that grace I saw in the dream comes. Today is the day. I believe the word of the Lord has mightily transformed your mind. And don't forget before you go, do well to hit the subscribe button and also strike the notification bell you see right there. And also share this video to your friends, family, loved ones, so they too can be blessed and have a change and transform mind. God bless you. We believe the word of the Lord has come your way. We believe you have been changed. We believe you can never remain the same after listening and being blessed by the word of the Lord. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button 
and also share this message with your family and friends so that you too can be blessed. God bless you.